So, how it started? Let's start with the story that when you take the remedy cryonia, you see that uh, headache is worse from motion, slightest motion, knee pain is worse from motion, chest is worse from motion. And if you put those rubrics, you will see bryonia is the main remedy. So what, what did we do with this? Not what we did, what Boninghausen did with it. You know, when two children fight and the mother comes and says, what happened? And one child says, he started it. You know this or not? So like this I say, Bonin wasn't started this, it's not me. <laughs> what did he start? And that's what we are continuing actually. So he said, if there are three symptoms that are worse from motion, and any symptom of grinding is worse from motion, therefore can we uh, make a generalization that uh, what is true for the part is true for the whole. And he started with the idea of generalization within a remedy. So you can say bryonia is worse from this motion. This is the beginning. This is how it started. You have to understand this philosophy. And um, therefore, if suppose, for example, a patient has pain in the wrist, worse from motion, and it is not mentioned in bryonia as a symptom, you can, by logic, infer that this can be bryonia too. Are you with me or not? This is the philosophy, how we went on. And how did this go to the next step? Taking this idea a little further, you see that when you see, for example, motions of eyelids aggravate, you know, even the slightest movement aggravate. You find two very strong remedy, Brania and Colocent, in three marks each. And what is the connection between these two? You can see also the rubric disturbed aversion to be. Again you see Bryonia and Colocent, among other remedies also. What does this mean? So you can say that both of them belong to the order called Violalis and maybe the grand general of Violalis is Aversion to being disturbed, worse from slightest motion and opposite, better from rest and retaining the same position. So it's a, it's a generalization extended further. You followed this or not? This is how the idea of understanding the sensation of a family or a group is started by generalizing the sensations of various remedies in that group. And then we could create a common theme of the order Violalis and extend it further and understand it more in depth. And this is the, the theme of the families that we talk about and in this way we could understand the general sensation of about 24 plant families and uh, this was very useful because once we understood that the patient is sensitive and needs a plant, he's sensitive, he's reactive and his whole experience can be summarized by a sensation and its opposite, for example, stiffness and movement. Then this belongs to plant kingdom. 
if his main problem in life everything is about stiffness and movement. Then we understood this is plant kingdom and then which out of the 24 families that we knew has this and we would use this knowledge. Yes or no? This was quite useful. This is how it, I wrote three volumes of this insight into plants one, two and three and created the schema and uh, my colleagues took it forward. They added more families, more remedies. Then we classified the remedies into myisms within each of the families and uh, we got some success also. <coughs> This is the story so far. <clears throat>